It is time for a controversial video, so be prepared to be offended. But let me ask you this question, right? When you lose a game of 2K, how often do you find yourself going, Oh, my teammates sold me. Or, Oh, this game sucks. 2K sold me. Or, Oh, this other team's cheating. They're zenning. They're cheesing. They're just rim running or they're shooting a bunch of threes. They're using screens. How often do you find yourself saying those three when you lose a game? Right? And we're going to get into that because this is why I love Random Wreck. Because despite all of those things that have gone against me, I've still managed to put together a pretty decent record of 25-2. and two. Now, I'd say about 10 to 12 of those games have been played with a squad. And that squad has been completely subscribers. If you guys want to play with me sometime, uh, join the Discord. I'm going to leave the link in the description. But yeah, the other 15 games have been played with randoms. And one of those games is a lag out. Like, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. That's fine. Like, I could care less. But the game that I... The other game that I lost, despite playing exceptionally good and having very bad teammates, I still think I could have won. So let's get into what I think I mean. Alright, quick disclaimer. This isn't a bashing video, right? I'm not here to complain about my teammates, right? I'm here to, quite frankly, say the opposite. So... To be frank, right, I'm playing with four seniors, maybe fifth-year seniors, who are on the JV team, right? These guys are terrible at the game. And I'm playing in the 92 and under, right? I expect that, right? Everyone's shooting below 30% from three. They're all the black and the bronze plates. And you guys know the, the plates don't mean anything to me. Like, I don't care what color your plays. I don't care what your win percentage is. When I load up and play with you or play against you, that's how you can tell how good someone is, right? I don't give a hoot about your stats. But let's get into the gameplay. So yes, I'm playing with bad people. First guy comes down the court, shoots a stupid shot. This guy dribbling out of bounds. It's very clear I'm playing with bad people. And that's okay. I'm expecting it. I'm, I, I know that people are going to miss shots. People are going to make stupid plays. And that's fine. This guy misses a wide open shot, it's fine. Sincerely, this entire time, I'm not freaking out at all. I truly still think, even though we're down 14 to 3, 16 to 5, even after watching this, and then, hold on, I mean, look at this phenomenal basketball. Even after watching stuff like that, watching guys flop, I still genuinely think we're going to win the game. So, right here, I catch the ball. Guy reach out of the play. I'm patient. It's a wide open three. Knock it down right here behind the back. I'm wide open. If you guys don't think you're wide open, you are. Right? Knock it down. Right here, there's a guy right in front of me, but I'm wide open. And I, and I miss. Right? So I include a lot of my misses in here. And I include my teammates' misses in here. Just to show the missed opportunities. Because even though at the end of the game... My stats reflect that I played very well, and I did play very well. I still could have done a little bit better. Right here, I get a steal. I don't know why my center and my power forward were on the break like that, but I hit the wrong icon. We get a dunk, and we're only down eight. So right here, I get a steal. Center misses wide open. It's fine, right? Everyone misses wide open. Again, not here to bash on my team. You know, like, here's me missing wide open, right? The point of this video is please stop blaming 2K, stop blaming your teammate, and stop blaming the other team for playing a certain way that you don't like, for playing a 2-3 zone, for using screens, for your losses. Right here, this guy is wide open on a fast break and shanks a layup. Yes, he is very clearly bad at the game. We've established that. But right there, I miss a wide open shot with, with takeover, right? I need to make that shot. Now, I come back down, I knock down another shot, but I missed some easy shots, right? I missed two minis, and I just missed a wide open three with takeover. And yeah, even though I just got another steal, even though I've got five steals, even though I've got 20 of our 30 points, even though I should have like five assists, those misses hurt you. So right here, I come back, get a steal, knock down the shot. I can only focus on what I can focus on, right? You want to win more games, you need to dominate your matchup so much that 
your crappy teammates don't even matter. For example, if you're a center, you know, 50% of the time, 60% of the time, the team with the better center is going to win the game in the rec. Like, the center is the deciding factor. If you're winning on the rebound count, if you're protecting the paint better than the other team's center, you're probably going to win the game. Right? So, as a center, your guards might stick, right? But control what you can control. Control the paint. Protect the paint. Out-rebound the other center. You're going to win. As a lockdown, maybe your guards suck. Maybe your center can't get a rebound. Get some steals. You know, get some steals. Get some transition dunks. Some transition threes. That's how you can take over the game, right? As a guard. You know, maybe your defense sucks. Maybe your center can't get a rebound or stuff like that. Be such an offensive force to where it doesn't even matter how bad your team is defensively. Like, you're going to come back and get a three up for your team or assist on every single play. So that's how you can win these games. Like, yes, again, I made it very clear in this video, my team's super bad. I don't care if you're bad at the game. The point is, is don't blame me on other things. That's the easy way out in life, y'all. It's easy to blame other people. That's what, you know, that's what jabronis do. Don't be a jabroni, man. You know, it's easy to blame it on other people. It's easy to blame it on 2K. You know, I see so many people go one for seven, you know, shooting terrible shots, and then they want to go, oh, this game stinks. Like, take some accountability. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, you know. I think I know what I'm talking about a little. But take some accountability, you know, and take the game over. That doesn't mean you have to score. That doesn't mean you have to, like, touch the ball every play. Take over the game and what you can control. You know, get steals, get rebounds. As a guard, knock down your open shots. Be aggressive with your shots. Because you're going to have guys like this. You're going to have D-Man 2-2-1-2 and your mom's favorite on your team. And 260 overall AIs. And even though, again, for the eighth time, my team's terrible. We're still up five. Because I take it over the game. Not only on the offensive side, on the defensive side. So if you guys agree with me, let me know your comment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, subscribe if you like this mentality. I think you're going to find yourself winning a lot more games if you just can control what you can control, if you don't get on the mic, and if you don't rage. Just focus on doing what you got to do, and you, you will play better as a result of that. Like, yeah, I just watched my team take two stupid layups in a row, but I don't care. I get back on defense, and I control what I can control. I come back, I get a steal, then I knock down a three. So we're up nine with two minutes left. I mean, just look at this, y'all. So right here, I come down. I'm controlling what I can control. There's five people on me. I don't care. I knock down a mid-range. Now look at this. So I have my badge. I dribble down the court. There's four people on me. Yep. Yep, you guys are seeing that, right? And that's fine. Like... It's, it's just a rec game. You know, quite frankly, I think my mom could have made that. Like, I, I genuinely think my girlfriend who's played this game, like, for, like, a combined of, like, five minutes probably could have scored right there. But that's fine, you know. And the other guy, you know, he missed a floater earlier wide open on the break, and he blamed it on 2K. So that's fine. Right there, I could have gotten a steal. So, yes, my teammate's missing wide open layups. My team can't dunk the ball wide open. You know, my team can't inbound the ball. You know, it's easy to rage at these things. But I should have gotten a steal right there. I sh could have made a couple more shots. My team's terrible. Yeah, they sold me. I still could have won the game. That is the overall picture. It's easy to blame your teammates. But that was still a winnable game. You see right here, like I'm wide open with takeover. Like the guy calls for the ball from the AI and goes up on three people. You know, what you going to do? So here we go, we get a stop, there's 12 seconds left, we don't get a rebound, hold on, you guys are waiting for the grand finale. 
Wide open with Badge. Running down the court. This guy doesn't want to pass to me. It's fine. Just a wreck game. Who cares? Control what you can control, y'all. Even though I played phenomenal, I could have played phenomenal -er. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section because I'm trying to fix the community. I'm done with people complaining. I'm done with people crying. My team sucked. Whatever. Still could have won the game. Still could have played better. And don't blame the game on 2K, your teammates, or the other team. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.